Howdy, howdy. Hope everyone's doing all right. Monday morning, back at it. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Just uh, snapping some of these, these cats off. Well, I got Compadre with me today. This is G Money's helper. Was G Money's helper. He's on his way to becoming a loader operator. Um, matter of fact, today uh, I'm gonna put him in the loader and let him crush some cars and and do it. I know a lot of people get nervous when the boss man's like, "Hey, um, and you, uh, you mind training this guy on the on the loader?" And you're like, "God dang, man, am I training myself out of a job?" I don't think that's the case this time, but. There's, there's plenty of places for Cowboy to go if things don't work out. Trust me. No, but it's, it's, I don't mind at all. Um, oh, big boy didn't show up this morning. And that other skinny dude that was working with me, he didn't show up either. I think the boss is over it. I think he's over not being able to plan work until he sees, he, I mean, he knows the rest regular guys are gonna show up. Freaking doors, they don't ever crush right. Come on, just come on. Hey, Compadre, he knows what's up. He's looking at me like, hey man, we're crushing. Like, he's looking. I'll show you what we got. We ain't got much at all to crush. Much at all. We got one little load. Not everything's crushing. Uh, got a little Toyota Prius action. Uh, dang, I got a, here's a Porsche, but it's not crushing. We're not crushing the, I think that's a Continental, guys. I'm not. I, I'm not real sure. I haven't walked away. Is that a Lincoln symbol? Yeah, yeah. So it's not crushing. It's just sitting in this field, rotten. Uh, we're crushing this Dodge Dart. This Mercedes over here. That's what I was worried about. I knew they got a lot of rain. Well, we did get a lot of rain. Rain started yesterday about lunch. It's rained all night. Raining this morning. We have some cooler temps for the beginning of August. That's pretty cool. He wanted to crush the boat, but now I've explained to him we can't crush that kind of stuff anymore. This dude's kind of, he didn't really want to crush, but so they're putting in a, uh, god dang, look at the size of that spider on that car. That's a spider right there. Jeez, everything's bigger in Texas. Can y'all see it? I have I get my phone. Look how big that spider is. That's a spider. <laughs> anyway, um, so they're putting in a pipeline and it's coming across this property at the front of the property. Whoops. They discovered that there's um, buried fuel tanks. This place used to be a, a gas station like 30, 40 years ago. And he had no idea that those tanks were even in the ground. And he has to have like, the states requiring him to remove them. His property, he's got to remove them. He bought the place like 10 years ago. And he's got to get, them, he's got to get it done. He's talking about just removing the tanks is $27,000. And of course, you know, you gotta use state certified licensed people to do that. That stuff costs money. I gotta 
get this thing before I get stuck over in here. And um, I'm about to mess around and get stuck. I'm about to mess around and get stuck. Look what I did to that joint. Dang. At least the rest of them I don't have to go get. Won't be so bad. I knew it was gonna be like this. So um been having a whole bunch of fits with my phone. Big time problems with it. Can't record, not getting all my functions are starting to shut shut down due to storage space. I swung by my uh, phone store guy, and uh, he's like, yeah, man, you probably need another SD card. Well, them SD cards are like 40 bucks, and uh, my funds are kind of tight right now. I've got some, some things going on that I'm not really ready to tell everybody about it, but... Uh, I've had to pick up some people's bills. And, uh, well, he was looking through some of my pictures and he's like, hey man, I see, you know, you're, this is my phone store guy. The last phone I got, he was transferring some pictures and he was like, dude, you go fishing? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, man, dude, um, I love to eat fish. Anyway, so I told him, I said, man, you trade me an SD card and I'll trade you some fish. Y'all know out there at my fishing hole, they're filling it in. So there ain't no point in just keep throwing them back because they're just gonna get buried and, and they're gonna die. So I did some old fashioned horse trading. Hey man, I'll get you some fish. You give me an SD card. It's private property. We can do anything we want with those fish. It's not illegal.